Hey everyone, it's New Year's Eve. Don't know if you're like me, are you glad 2021 is nearly over? Hmm. Uh, once again, some of the spiritual people I'm listening to are sort of saying that things are going to head into a totally chaotic uh, 2022, but that there are good things on the horizon. So I like to believe that this is true. I like to imagine that whatever we are co-creating on this gorgeous planet of ours will manage to allow us to live a beautiful life, feeling free to be ourselves, feeling uh, free to do the things that we want to do, spend time with friends and family, uh, create a world around us, working in whatever industry that uh, suits us and feeds our soul, and that hopefully we are just going to go from strength to strength as a human race. Wouldn't that be fabulous? So I'm going to do a little balance around just getting rid of the old and welcoming the new, getting rid of the old and welcoming the new. I was listening to someone this morning. I think it was one of those, uh, George Carlin maybe. He's a funny bugger. Anyway, he sort of does all these cool little videos that I just love because he's he's funny and naughty and cheeky and irreverent and, and just a bit of fun. And sometimes you just need a bit of fun, don't you? And who? But it might not have been him. It might have been someone else. So that could be a total red herring. But he was saying that how we look at each other comes from our experience. And it was sort of amusing because he was saying, if we are, say, religious, you know, then you're looking at each other as a son of God. If you are someone who's an astrologer, you look at someone and go, ah, they're a Pisces or, oh, they're a Virgo or, oh, they're a Scorpio. But he joked and sort of said, so to those people, there's only 12 different personalities on the planet. <laughs> and then he was talking about if you are someone who, is just say a medical person you might look at someone and be thinking about their liver or their kidneys or their heart or their you know that you might be sort of judging people from that perspective just as we're moving along uh, if you're someone say a naturopath you might be like I am you might actually be looking at those physical signs and I know you all know I've put on like five kilos in the last six weeks it hasn't been the easiest six weeks of my life uh, but it's sort of funny because depend. So as a naturopath, we look. There's all sorts of body symptoms that we look at that give us a bit of a hint. So the thinning of the eyebrows from the outside, much harder on women these days. But the thinning of the eyebrows from the outside in, that's about thyroid. So it's often an iodine deficiency. You know, sort of. There's lots of signs on the fingernail. Once again, that's harder with people these days as well. So you know, if you've got the flat flat fingernails or, or even the scoopy fingernails that can be a really chronic iron deficient when you're looking underneath the eyes you can tell if someone's iron deficient the color and shape of the tongue in different areas of the tongue gives all sorts of ideas about signs and symptoms you know those people who have those red bulbous noses you know the old classic in the past uh, so I'm running my AO scan uh, so in the past I had the uh, the people who, you know, you'd come in and you would see signs and you go, oh, right, veins or, ah, oh, right. You know, no, obviously then there's abdominal fat and, you know, those sort of things and veins poking out and skin sores. So, you know, you can't help but to notice those physical symptoms on someone when, when you're treating them. And uh, so anyway, people look at people from all sorts of different perspectives and obviously empaths, they don't see people, they feel people. So they'll walk into a room and they'll go, whoa, I don't want to go over there. You know, so we all have our own perspective of how we look at everyone on the planet. And and I know I keep harping on this, but if we're not moving forward with peace and love in our hearts, how are we supposed to have peace and love in our in our lives? So if our, like, what is your number one goal for 2022? You know, I hope all of our goals at at the very least have some self-care in there. So whether or not it's the Wim Hof breathing or meditation or uh, finding a kinesiologist in your area or going to the local chiropractor or whatever it is, your self-care that's helping you on that, you know, the physical, spiritual, mental, emotional combo, uh, we need to be doing something in our world that really supports uh, supports us. Because if we're not doing that, then what are we, you know? Like they say in MASH, uh, what are we? 78 cents, of, uh, 78 cents of minerals or whatever he says, you know. Hawkeye says that in MASH. What are we worth? 78 cents. Anyway, so 
I'm going to do a quick little balance. Uh, it's going to be a stand-up one over the table because I actually want to sort of see the whole body and etheric body. And I'll just try to infuse as many of us in there as I can, our beautiful little uh, 15,000 uh, people family here on here on the channel. So, and uh, Renergy, actually, my massage therapist, she's offered to do be surrogate for me uh, for the planet. <laughs> so I'll be doing that next week as well. I see her on Thursday. So hopefully um, I'll manage to fit that in if I don't have lots of other things on. But what are your three, top three goals for 2022? You know, I've been working today on getting an online shop up and running. I worked a bit on my biography for my mastermind group. I sort of have been working on my little uh, ebook that I've got sort of going on in the background. Nothing's getting done, of course. I'm just doing a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit somewhere else. And I even got the old guitar out. I've been playing a, I'm, I'm no good. I'm not going to play your song. But, you know, I only bought my guitar like six, eight, ten weeks ago or something like that. But I've been playing a couple of little John Denver songs. Love the songs with four notes in them. <laughs> they zoom me down, down to the ground. So, you know, um, yeah. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, see you in a minute.